Yep. And I love you. Fuck. And speaking of live, we are live. Hola. Tomorrow oh. got to Mr. Roboto. Uh -huh. Hello. Ah! Hello. We are live. Oh. Holy crap. Hi. So. Hello. Yep. So it's been a bit. Life gets busy. You know, try to get everyone here, but you know, life happens. Indeed. Yes. How is everyone? Existing in a world that does not like me. Wait, what? Uh, okay. Existing. Yep. I am uh, a physical manifestation of myself. Damn. They go hard in the beat. Anyways, I uh, know you're sugarcoating it. Y'all ready? Yeah. As ready as we can be. Yeah. As much as I can exist. All right. So, when last we left the wolf pack, Ar Aria, the Air Genasi monk, Armin, the devilish ASMR, Ranger Barbarian, Lipia, the Inugami Rogue Paladin, Renee, the gnome wizard, and Roderick, the Goliath fighter. The party went into the depths of Roderick's mind after overanalyzing an artifact for, from the gift Yankee into saving him and removing his ties to the evil goddess Athudan. After some deafened words that soon found their mark, the party was able to free Roderick and restore him back to life. Now, resting in the cave, they have, they have awoken in. The party has about six hours left before they, uh, I would say, no, I have four hours left before they are supposed to meet up, supposed to find that drow scout again. Uh, this would be, like, when we woke the, up from yes, saving, yes. from saving Roderick? Yes, okay. uh, for rounding points, if anyone remembers the drow's name, by the way. Saving Private Roderick. Uh, I have it in my notes. Oh, I can't write his name down, damn it. <laughs> it was Fluffy McFluffington. That is not okay. That is not right at all. I know it's not. Uh, the dude drow. The drow that the drow with the very Aussie accent. The yep. very Aussie accent. I'm just curious if anyone remembers one... it. I'm just curious. That's it. Did we ask uh... him his name? Yes, you did. You got it. Uh, right. So I did ask his name. We always do. Names are important in this world. Unless you're dead, then you know, names yep. are names. Close yeah. voice as well, if anyone remembers I, what I called the I, uh, gift queen. Uh, ooh. Well, it probably wasn't <sighs> Black Gith. It wasn't, because I had my own thing for it. I did keep other Gith and all that stuff, but I did give her her own name. Oh, God. I don't I don't remember. It's I'll give been you a, a couple weeks. I'll give you a hint. It's The Drow's name started with Duh. Domnatha. No. Uh, Daniel? No. <laughs> Daniel? <laughs> Damn, Daniel, back at it again with the necromantic magic. Shut up. <laughs> God damn it, Daniel. Continue. Anyway, so yeah, you guys are in the cave. You've awoken after saving Roderick's soul. What you gonna do? Hmm. All right. Uh... I want to start by actually checking on Roderick. He's alive. I know. He's stiff. Is stiff. he emotionally okay, though? I he's know. Stre the... He's stretching. He's just like, oh, remind me never to die again. Oh, that... Well, making sure you do not die is a promise I cannot keep. That is something. You... Ping... Sorry. No, go ahead. I, I don't think any of us can keep that promise, Roderick. That is fair. He's... Well, I mean, I can attempt to revert time momentarily, but no guarantees. 
it was a coin up phrase to be more precise. He just uh, smirks and he pats you on the back. He goes, good to have you back, brother. Uh, good to be back. Are you all right? Like, you know, like taps his, taps his temple. Who taps his own temple? Hmm. He kind of just knocks on his head real quick. He's like, "Yeah, they're all there." Um. He uh, he's just like, um, "What? I'm fine." You're not hearing any extra voices, are you? Besides us, obviously. Shit, you ruined my joke. <laughs> no, I'm not hearing anyone trying to talk to me. Yet. Maybe. Yeah. Who knows? Let us okay. ensure that that not, does not happen anymore. Well, I mean, depends on what gods want to try and jump into this brain, but for now, it's quiet. As quiet can be. Good. After a moment, he says, I meant what I said is that I am sorry that I cannot see it beforehand. Roderick's kind of looks at you, just squints his eyes, leans forward and goes, you're getting soft again. Is there something wrong with that, Roderick? Mm -mm. Don't know. Do you find it wrong? No. Then there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> he 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 uh he pats you on the back, he says, All right. And he uh he goes and he he stretches himself because he did because he was injured a little bit during that fight and uh, oh poor baby. And he's gonna he's gonna rest up for them. He's gonna take just like a short rest, get some ill back after the nap, <laughs> ending up in his mind. <laughs> oh. So Armin taking nap time. Nap time. Mm. You know, you could always do that in the manor. You don't have to sleep on this floor. He was going to the manor because it's open. Yes. That manor. is true. So how long do you guys <laughs> rest for? That's actually a genuine question. Um... Um, I think, how long is a short rest? An hour. An hour. An hour or so. Roderick is going to get just a short rest because he does have a conversation with a certain someone he would like to have. And I'm going to short rest. Just to get some, yeah. some just to get some of my stuff back. Because, uh. Think Giants might comes back after a short rest. Let me double check. I was gonna say probably check just in case. Ah, that's just a long rest. Oh well. I mean, you oh, guys well. can take I, eight I, hours. I won't stop you. No, because we're supposed to meet them at six. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a short rest. I have. I still have four uses of Giants might. I just can't use Goliath might, but just want to get some uh, some HP back. Try and get back to full. And let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to take a short rest. Okay, so I have nine cool. D swamps to use. Nice. And then I'll do one D8. Perfect. Back to full. One. Hang on. Do some math. 
to 67. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. That'll do. Jeez, that's right. Yeah, you did take a fucking punch. Took a motherfucking whopping. Gave him a good whammon. Yes. Anybody else gonna... No. Anybody else need no. rest? Anybody else need the schleebs? I uh, don't think so. Lippy is going to relax for a bit. I really am glad you're <laughs> back, Quadric. <laughs> Glad to be back. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to have a conversation with someone. Don't worry, it's nothing terrible, just... Well, Armin knows be exactly who I'm going to talk to. Be sure to take protection, alright? Oh, uh... Is it going to be that kind of a conversation? Oh my god, I was expecting <laughs> um... one of y'all to make that damn joke. <laughs> well... I... You have se you've seen what's in my brain, so you know that's not happening anytime soon. <laughs> no, I'm going to talk to a certain someone who probably wasn't very... How do I want to put this? Happy. They, prob they probably weren't happy to help someone. Looks at Armin. <sighs> He's gone to sleep. Yeah. It's... He, so, looks, he looks, looks in the direction of Armin's... Family. Room. <sighs> yeah, the boy needs sleep. He deserves it. No. So do you. Ever... Yes, I will rest afterwards, but keep an, keep an eye out just in case we're supposed to be meeting the cloaks, I believe, after living six hours. Aye, aye but... Captain. And don't call me that. I am far from a captain. Uh? Okay. Okay. <laughs> By the way, I want everyone to roll me history checks. History? Do I actually have this? I don't think I have advantage. Uh, 26. Tickets are Connor. Hey? Hold on, right, hold well. on. Let me double check okay, this. Okay, yeah. Okay, that 10. Yeah. History. Oh, history, oh, history. I rolled a 25. Oh, natural 19. History. Does, <laughs> natural does exhaustion 19. go down on a short rest or a long rest? Long, I think. Long, unfortunately. Long. You gotta take that long sleep star. Yeah, unfortunately, you are suffering from the effects of disadvantage, so. Uh, everyone remembers this. You were supposed to meet with uh, that drow gunslinger back at where you made the first manor. And that's not there anymore. <laughs> ah. Oh. We should probably, you know, move. For you can either go back to that location, or you can try yeah. and find Shadow Cloaks. Yeah, we should probably go find the Shadow. Uh, yeah, let's go find the Shadow Cloaks. Well, we took an hour. Well, I still think we should take an hour rest. Take no, you do. Rest, this cause... is what you realize at the end of the rest. It's already. Ri it's uh -huh. a you already rolled a hit die. It's happened. Uh, yeah, it's just oh, it's just shit. a wake it's a wake up and go. Well, it's a, fuck. It's a fuck. why do I forget? Eh, eh, <laughs> all right, let's do it. Everyone out of the mana. Well, this yeah, let's go. Could have gone better. This Does is your manner, really? Renee, or or no wait, this is the um this is your group manner. So no, never mind. You don't get those peeps. Yeah, no, 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 cool stuff. Let's um just get going before we get in more trouble. Did they disclose where the location of the hideout was? I can't remember exactly that. No, or do I? I don't know. They didn't, because yeah. if they did, <laughs> yeah. I'll put like this with a history check for you two specifically. If they did, Army would have already rat them out. <laughs> they would have been dead. Yeah. Yeah, and Armin will actually like chime in and be like, 
we should probably try not to search for them. Probably wait for them to come to us, considering that given what happened, it might be problematic for them if we try to search for them. We have no well, idea I... what might be keeping an eye on us or how many of these Inquisitors are still around. So. All right. Okay. That is fair. Oh, boy, we're mm. going to die. So you guys are going back to where you went to? Where you came from or you're searching? I need to know. Um, uh, I'm sorry, what was the question? Cause you cut right, out so me. are you looking for them or are you going back to where you were supposed to meet them in the manner that doesn't exist anymore? Probably going back to work. We sh Do you think you should try and go back to where we were supposed to meet them? Because trying to search for them might be... Well, the thing is, is that the manor is not there anymore, so it's kind of like we'll just be standing in the middle of the road. In a city where the governor has been is been not uh, is now missing. Yep. Yeah. No. He mm. actually. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> mm. I think we should look for the um, shadow cloaks. Might be better. Oh, well, um, given that it might it might be a little bit easier now, especially considering that the governor has unfortunately disappeared. Oh uh, yeah. The shadow cloaks uh, might you try see and some a little remaining more disintegration dust just full somehow just blow in a cave without wind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Rat>. That's disconcerting. <laughs> Rat. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear the shadow cloaks joke, might <laughs> I know the shadow cloaks might try and gain a little more of a foothold on the city meaning they might be a little more out in the open we should keep we should at least keep an eye out for yeah we should <laughs> So are you going back to the city or are you going to try to explore this cave system further? What do you guys think? Should we... Because this is a false cave system that we just, like, misdirected them to. This wasn't... This wasn't... This wasn't where the real meetup was. True. Not where the meetup was, but you have no idea what their base is. So you genuinely have no idea. Um. Hmm. Um. We should. Uh, that's a good question, actually. Um. I mean, I wasn't saying we could search this cave a little bit because I don't know if it's like there anything really here, but it's. Why am I getting such a fucking you... weird thing of day? If you wish, you may roll investigation. You guys want to investigate this area? Because fucking why not? Yo, sure, might as well. How bad's my investigation? Oh, that's actually decent, I guess. Okay. Ladies first. Means Armin. I'm not a lady. And I ain't going first. It looks like a lady. Da -da. That's just DMCA. Fuck. Okay. Evan, no, and nope. 21. Wow, uh, Roderick 15. is the only who gets it. <laughs> Roderick, yes. as you're like looking around, you start you you begin to sweep your brow, putting your hand on the wall until you fall until you start to realize, oh wait, there's nothing there. You don't really lean oh, on it. You're just like, and now from your perspective, your hand is inside a wall, no clip style. 
Roger just blinks for a second. Yeah, like this is after you guys travel a little bit down, trying to see if maybe you could find any signs. Eventually, you reach a dead end, uh, naturally in the cave. And when you relax there for a sec, you're just like, again, yeah, you just your arm is like no clip through the wall. Roger will kind of gently lean his head closer and see what happens. Your head goes through, and you see a new path before you. Roger kind of waves his hands to the group and goes, "Follow me." As he just slowly steps into the ca- into this All new right, path. All right, you step in through the cave. Uh, you notice, by the way, uh, roll me perception. Okay, I'm actually. I think All I'm gonna us- be. Perception. Twenty-seven. Uh, for what you're looking for, because like you've already said, you cut through. You see some runes along the wall. Uh, particularly in some, and you would recognize these giant runes, ancient, more Ooh. advanced, more uh practical than the ones you have. Whereas yours are designed for combat and afflicting the body. Roll me another. Uh, roll me an Arcana check, and if you point those out to everyone, everyone may roll an Arcana check. I Re- will, and I have advantage because of my rune. Renee, I will give you advantage because you are a trained, like, you know, you have trained in magical arts and you have research, so I can't justify not giving you advantage. Either way, 20. Yep, 20. Uh, probably so yeah, you're rolling normal, one. Renee. Okay. Yeah, maybe you were... yeah. <laughs> Oh, jeez, Lipia. Lipia, there, dear sir, uh, some crap. Just, Ooh. What in the fuck is going on with Roger rolling high? Uh, he's been cured. <laughs> Roderick, he's been, he's been realized. Looking at these runes, you're not, you were, I would say Roderick was more of a scholarly type compared to the Argolas, where they had learned them for the applications of battle. You actually took the time to research some of these runes and what they could have done. In ancient Goliath texts, these were actually used by ancient giants and Goliaths thereafter to hide uh, things from magical detection. Oh, uh-huh. ooh. Oh. That's how they've been able to keep hidden for so long. Ah. And it's probably how they've been wa- able to traverse the city. Yeah, these runes, they're, they're stationary. So, but if you know how to put them in place, they are effectively designed okay. to conceal stuff from Detect Magic. They basically act like the, as like a, for all intents and purposes, and actually more as it is, it, they basically act, act like as a lead or up to, to protect them. Is there any way I could write these down? Uh, like, just attempt to possibly copy them? intelligence check. Let's go with that. Aelin, who okay. wants... I would say Renee is the only other person who could, because I'll be honest, Lippy and Armin just... No, they would have... No oh, 21! Yeah, nice. I'd say you were able to, yes. What is with... Uh, you guys have... You guys literally cured Roderick. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh... This is weird. Yeah, Renee, this if you is... wish, you may try as well. Uh, I will say, because again, you're a learned scholar, so I can't... So like, you're the only other person who could try to. I'll give you advantage on this as well, because you you in particular, because of your chronomancy, you would have had to learn all sorts of strange magic. So, yeah. All of the weird shit. You would have had to. Oh, like, that chronomancy, makes sense. Yeah. Fair. So, yeah. I was confused as fuck. So just a straight intelligence? Yeah, yep. straight intelligence. Are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Renee. I'm I'm trying, man. I tried. <laughs> Rod- okay. Roderick now becomes the so Roderick yeah. Roderick, with wisdom. your expertise in it, you manage to copy down the runes, put in your notes that you now have the ability. If you take the proper time to, because obviously you're going to need to be very careful, you have yeah. anti detect magic rune. That you can place hey, in Let me like, just put this in my. I'll put this in my personal mm-hmm. traits. You said, uh, uh, basically magic, uh, anti magic de- detection rune? Anti magic detection runes, yes. Oh. <laughs> what, is, what does Renee think about seeing Roger do this? I'm kind of curious. <laughs> Just Roger becoming a scholar, big brain. Renee, meanwhile, just you see the bags under his eyes. Like, he looks like the stereotypical, like, just, oh, God, where's my coffee? <laughs> this could be helpful. Yeah. But I believe this might be, this might be a path to where they might be hiding. We should be careful, though, because 
I don't know if they've actually been warned of us coming to them. Right. So Wait. Shall I... Renee, yeah. I will allow you one last perception check because you're the only one who could possibly notice this. I was going to say, do I have... Yeah. I was like, if we, if we know who he is, if, you, if someone can remind me of his name, I have sending. I could send to him and be like, hey, just say a straight or just make sure. perception. Yes. Uh, this, I'll give I... you the advantage to be kind, but yeah. Yeah. You got this, Renee. Do I? I... No. No. You don't know anything. No. You guys are good. Um, I... Wait, what did I just miss? Uh, so we ask... might die. Don't worry about it. Death and destruction. That's... Uh, right. Do I? Uh, I was gonna ask. Can I check for traps? There are no traps. Um. Right. Can we see if anyone might happen to be following us? Roll perception. Okay. Uh, Nobody 30. is following you. Oh. Okay. That's a natural sixteen. Mm, no this was sixteen with a thirty. A 32? Nobody That's performance. You. You, I'll be That's honest. Performance. You could, I'll be honest. Armin's 30. You guys are pretty sure that no one's following you. Right. You also rolled a performance, Cody. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but yeah, no one's following you. So, he, you guys he plays the loot so well that anyone who was following comes out and dances. They go, oh, man, that's my shit. Oh, man, that's... Oh, man. Frankie, that's my shit. Oh, fuck. Ah, fuck. Hello. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, um... Yeah. But yeah. Okay, well, do we still want to? Does anybody can any can we roll anything to try and remember what the dude's name is? No. Anyone remember You're... this guy's name? Because <laughs> like, if I... you remember what his name is, I, I remember can send to him. It started with a D. You fucking shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> shut the fuck up before I throw you into the runes. <laughs> it's, it's not. I gotta. Dangerous. I gotta look back on it. Uh. But we should still proceed with caution. All right. Is it? Do you guys wish to proceed with caution? Donvel. Is it Donvel or something? Darnold? No. No, Donvel. All right. It was. It was the session before last, correct? That it happened, or yes, the yeah, yes. Session but that was before... unrecorded because, unfortunately, you remember my. Uh... Remember, yes, it yeah. wasn't recorded. Oh god, that's right. Yep. Um, I think. I do. You guys want to proceed with caution, or yeah? What do you guys want to do? Uh, I can scout ahead at least. Okay, Livia, roll self check for me <laughs> if you wish to be selfie about it. Do I want. Guys... Do you guys wish to, uh, do you guys wish to go? Yeah, no, do you guys wish to let her scout ahead? And if so, how far do you scout ahead, Lithia? Uh, can I? Uh, hang on a minute. Uh, let me get my character sheet back up. My, uh, um, it's fine. Roll 28. Window yeah. literally crashed. I got you. Don't worry. No need to explain. Um,. I'm going to scout at least of forty feet ahead. As you scout forty feet ahead, there seems to be nothing. Still stealthing, just to be sure. Why do I feel like we're gonna end up in like a Quasimodo? Like maybe you've heard of a terrible yeah. place called the Court of Miracles. All right. So, as you guys keep going forward. There doesn't seem to be anything. Eventually you come to what appears to be an empty chamber. Just a... Like, a deep... The best way I can describe it is, you go to a point where you reach what looks like a cliff, where you see an almost endless abyss. Uh, with, with stalactite rocks uh, up in front. Hmm. So a chamber with uh, with a like abyss. Basically, yeah, just like, drop, drops yeah, drops off dro a cliff. Basically. Drops off a cliff, basically, as far as you can tell. Right. Oh boy. And 
-hmm. with with our respective dark visions it goes beyond that i assume strangely no you can't see the bottom that's what i mean like it like it drops further than our dark vision can see yes yes it drops much further how much rope do we have um uh i have 50 feet Mm. hold on let me you guys are welcome to my let's look at my sheet let's sheet this uh I have a total of um I have hemp rope. That's what it is, hemp and rope. It's just yeah. Rope. You guys, uh, yeah, so I have... Have a... yeah. You guys certainly can't do that. How much have you got of it? That's... So far we have sounds like a hundred. Right. If you guys wish to tie that and see how far that will go, you may certainly do that. It would be worth it at least to see. Is there like a just in case, is there does there happen to be like a small rock or something that like we can yeah, like you could tie it. You could tie it too. Yeah, you could tie it there. Okay. So who would like to go down first when you guys do this? Um, I think first should be... I mean, at the very least, I probably could, because if something goes wrong, I could probably fly back up. I could also fly back up. Mm. Up to you guys. Do you want the road to go first or the ranger barbarian? I probably the thick tanky dude. My big piece hand. Yep, you could also do that. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, oh, he's that just... is that. It's up to you on who you want to go down first. But I'm not going to say what you should or shouldn't do. You want to do rollies to see who goes? I mean, like I said, I can always just go first. I mean, Save if you guys can't agree, then... You guys can't just do roll. You can just roll it higher. Would go uh, first. Just roll. Best okay. best chance. Eleven. All right. Uh, whoever else wants to try, go down. Roll. Okay. Lippia, you're well, going uh, down looks first. Looks like Lippia's going. Yep. yep. Lippia. <laughs> As you go down, you go down about eighty. Feet. You go out of sight of the others until suddenly, as you're about to go down, I want you to roll me. I would call this a deck save. Uh oh. Uh oh. That don't sound like fun. As you do, you feel That's the it. ends of your fur stick up as you, despite seeing nothing but darkness below, what looks like to be an endless chasm, you feel solid. You feel something solid hit you. And as you do, I need you to roll me a wisdom saving throw. Uh-oh. Maybe right, you've heard why? of this terrible place called the Court of Miracles. Huh? Nothing. Nope. It's it's quite it's a quasimodo miss joke. Nope, nope. Alright. Lipia. Yeah? For all intents and purposes, everyone else just hears you scream. And then what? Feel as though your voice is fading further and further below until nothing is heard. You are you are to remain stationary for a bit. Oh, okay. That's, that's that's not good. That's totally not we bad. To that's that. not bad at all. Uh, uh, what's up? Uh, what do you guys do? You hear Olivia scream? Oh, good, good. Um, uh, okay. What the fuck are we gonna do, kids? Something hit her. Something solid it's... hit her. Wait, wait. I thought, I thought because of because she's a rogue, she, like she would take, or by all technicalities, dodge it if the, with that yeah, high a roll as well, yeah, right? She, nothing hit her. Yeah. Nothing. It hit. felt. It. Yeah, she felt like she hit against it. something. There's a difference. But you guys don't know that. You just think Lippy has fallen to the is falling to the endless abyss. Oh fuck. 
What do you do? Okay. <laughs> what would Arvid do here? Okay, the last time this happened, it ended badly. Yeah. What's the last, last time? Yeah, I was gonna say, what's the last time you've had someone fall into a hole? The last, what I mean is, the last time I was gonna consider doing something that he was about, he's going to do, it ended badly. Yes, but what would Arvid do? That's the thing. You gotta play the character, bud. What would Arvid do? He heard his, you guys heard your friend fall. What are you guys doing? Okay. I'm gonna run and jump. I'm in gonna. I was about to say. He, I was about to say. Okay. He just. Go ahead. Okay. Alex, uh, go experience. ahead, Richard. I need to know what you guys are doing before I make a decision here. He just looks at Roderick for a moment, thinking like, "I don't want to leave you behind again." Roderick just kind of gives a nod, like, "It's okay. Go get our friend." He just he just leaps off and and uh, flies so down. You both are going at full speed, right? Uh, I assume oh, so. No. Preparing to try oh, and catch yes. himself. If so, so um, oh, I, need you, I need you both to roll me Texas with disadvantage because you're doing you're the, going you're first, doing first the, into floor. You, yeah, I was gonna say you're doing the flight equivalent of the kid running to the glass window. Well, he's not. Well, he's not like completely dive bombing. He would probably circle to try not to just f plant, flop into the ground if it happens. I mean, I'll be honest. As far as you're aware, this is an empty abyss. Would Arvid really care about that in that moment? That's what I'm asking. <sighs> I'll roll a deck save with disadvantage, which for you is normal because uh, danger sense. Yeah. So I will give you that. Natural twenty. You feel the ground start to like. You feel something coming at you. Oh, oh, oh grenade! Oh, just gonna go okay. slap. That's, that's, that's what I was saying. Oh. But can I? Anyway. Like a bug on a windshield. And he, if he if he lands, I was oh. let's say if he lands, can I see Renee he, like fly. with that net twenty? I'll say army. You can catch him before he car crashes at seventy miles per hour, so you won't take any damage. He just—he's like—he's barreling down. Arms goes, oh, <laughs> get like sticks hands out to catch him. And as you guys do, Arvin or Roderick, yeah, you hear clicking noises to your side. Oh. As okay. you as as you catch him, you all watch as the cavern disappears. As you see a makeshift base where you are surrounded by. What looks like around 200 drow with intricate tunnels and cliffs above with edges where they are pointing guns, bows, crossbows, or magic in their hands surrounding you. Roderick will just qu quietly raise his hand and goes, I guess we found you. Oh, yeah. Truth is, I really did like you, folks. But, uh, you know, but he just like points the barrel. We don't like, uh, we don't like snoopers. And as you guys do, in the center of the room, you see two, three notable figures. The first is a drow with long white hair, more of a purpline shade of their skin, in what I can only describe as, like, a decent purpleized chain mail with purple rope, like, with purple cloth. I decide is an elegant scimitar. As you see... Because I have minis for these fucks, and I, by God, I made them. I'm gonna use them. Fuck yeah, use that shit, bro. And I've, I've had, I've hold on to these guys for like a, for fucking years. I want to point that out. Like I've had these made for a while. All right, during okay, Orientin, shadow cloaks. As you see, this man. Ooh. Notably, Let's he also has like a scar down his like an Anakin style star down his left eye or his right eye. Ooh. Next is a drow with more slick back hair. This one more of a dark, a true darkness to their skin with uh, purple eyes. As he's wearing purple like robes with a spell book in hand, you would recognize that Renee. With him having oh. fire in his hand. What was on his hand? I recognize. Like uh, a spell book. He looks very Ooh. beautiful, like disarmingly handsome. We're talking. 
What up, hot boy? I would say like I'd say like David Bowie handsome. Like that David Bowie sense. levels are beautiful. I'm David Bowie. Oh my god, Cody. <laughs> I'm David Bowie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I hate you. I'm currently having guns pointed at me, so Roger's just being calm and keeping his hands up. As he's at the top of this tunnel. And sitting and sitting in the center of all this is a woman with brown ah. hair, looting a staff with notable breastplate. <laughs> and more swear modest than you would think a typical drow woman would be. Blue eye or uh, green eyes. Blah, 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 Jesus. Red eyes with very dark skin. A cloak over as you see this woman. Damn. What she is has this slender like figure looking to be in her middle ages as she commands an air of authority to her. I'm going to make these available in the journal so I can show stream. But for now, okay. this is, these are who you guys see. Glippia, you're released from the suggestion you have free reign again. Hey, you're awake. Oh, no. Ah, you're awake, I see. Hey, you. Uh, oh my finally god. Finally awake. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you Continue. see these guys staring at you with again two hundred ish how, drow based on eye map with passive yeah. perception, just pointing the all banner of how, fucking uh, weapons at you. What, how how Put high how up. far away am I from them? Uh, they are like five feet from you because they're they have their guns pointed at you. Directly. No, no, I mean like I mean I mean like my dear the friends that are now at the bottom. Uh, roughly eighty feet below. Uh, so he's just he's just he's just alone with his hands up, just like. Renee, I would say with your magical knowledge, it's it's easy to see what had, had happened. They basically had a bunch of major uh, images up just to make this place appear to be uh, to make it appear. However, I want everyone to roll me... Actually, no, you would have a contact for this. But yeah, they seem to have been waiting for you. <laughs> We've been waiting. Oh, did I not see this? I am so fucking tired. Uh, the longer-haired drow speaks. Who are you? And what purpose do you have here, intruders? He aims the crossbow specifically at, uh, I would say, since Renee was the last one to speak. Speak now, or I, or I kill your most powerful member. No one say anything. I... Actually, no, someone say something, but don't, <laughs> don't put... Who's the strongest member? Because uh, he's pointing. Actually... At, he's pointing. The, he's pointing the crossbow at Renee. He's calling you Renee, the ah. strongest member. My name's Lipia. We, w if I'm getting this correctly, and and I'm gonna say this out again first, we we would uh, generally exploring before, and no. we would try. Deception. No, nope. you were looking. Hang we're on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I said out of game. Yeah. I'm saying that. No, you guys were out not just game. exploring. You guys were you were intently trying to find them. I, I, I'm just dumb. All right. I'm just fine. making sure I've got this correct. You were intentionally trying to find them. Okay. Oh, and I'm up here. And I can't really talk to them down there. I'm just standing here, just like. Right. We should just tell. Uh, we should just tell them we. Uh, we want their help. Wait a second. I got a question. Um, how long ago do we meet the? Do we meet that drow? Um, that introduced himself. Correct? Roughly four hours ago. Um, Armin has keen mind. Aha. He remembers everything from within a month. Would he? Yeah, does he remember the? His name was Devarin. Devarin. I'm glad I remember that. I was like, I was like, I was like, we gotta, one of, we have, we have to at least roll a history. Or something. I was like, wait, I have keen mind. That's fine. Yeah, Devarin was his name. That was his name. His name was. Name was Devon. Devon, huh? Uh, are you guys whispering this in game? Because the guy is level, you know, you are, yeah, like he's gonna doing? shoot Renee. I know. <laughs> yeah. 
My name is Armin. We have spoken with Devarin a few hours ago in hopes to meet him again. Persuade. And I calling this persuasion because you have because there's some stuff you never looked into <laughs> that I've known for a bit. So yeah, persuasion. Twenty two. The drow like aims the crossbow you now, the long haired one. I have a hard time believing the famed Lord of Cinder comes for peace. Lord of Cinder? Is that a Is that a title people have been referring to me as? So with your key mind, I'll let you know. She did make the Empress did say she made you a lord. <laughs> yes! Yeah, so you get a you get a name, yeah. motherfucker. The Lord of Cinder. Oh my god, of course. I got a fucking Cinderella. Of course I'm called <laughs> that. I mean, she is a cunt, so. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. What were you expecting? She's a cunt. <laughs> she would do that. All right, I state know. your business. We have been we were looking for shadow cloaks, but we did not expect to find the entirety of you. <laughs> In the entirety. Moment. That is quite a bold assumption. Also, fuckhead, I told you, wait for me, we come to you. As far as trust goes, this isn't building a lot. Capiche, mate? Understood. Capiche? <laughs> that makes sense. We, we weren't really expecting them expecting to find them in the cave, were we? You, you well, were hoping. No. We kind of assumed that they were underground, but yeah. we were but... not we were not planning on this happening. No. No. We weren't planning on falling down a hole. Well, car crashing down a hole, I think, would be more accurate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In terms of that, in terms of the Lord of Cinders that I am referred to, I do not have any genuine affiliation with the Empress. I do try to find peace if possible. Persuasion. It, it's, it's not, not deception. Uh, it's not a lie. That's why it's a persuasion. You have no idea what the Empress is doing to these people. <laughs> right. The bastard, this bastard son who killed his parents. To showcase his power, and it's acting a spy for the Empress all across Utha. <laughs> she has fucked you, bro. <laughs> Royally fucked wow. you. Wow. She has a fucking <laughs> hard on for 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 feeding false information about him specifically. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, welcome well, to it. She's the only welcome, one she has any information on, really. Yeah, welcome to the. Hey, I'm gonna ruin your life till you serve me, lady. <laughs> um. Is Roderick still just standing at the top remember, of this? Remember, she and... sent you to find these people. She knew what she was doing. <laughs> oh yeah, she did. Uh, yeah, you're standing on top, Roderick. <laughs> he kind of looks to these guys as, could I be led to my group so we could discuss this a little bit more cohesively, please? Persuade. As his hands are, his hands are still in the air. Thirteen. Uh, Last time I made an agreement with you, mate, you kind of went back on it. You'll forgive me if I uh, prefer to keep you at lead's length. Understandable. All right. Now. He just stays there. We are not here for con conflict. And... Your reputation says otherwise, Lord of Cinder. If you think we're so easily... The woman holds up her hand, and he immediately goes silent. <laughs> Mom said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Mom said, it's my turn on the Xbox. <laughs> it is expected for us to doubt your word, Lord of Cinder. This is the woman speaking, by the way. We have heard a great many evils that you have committed by reports that we've been managed to steal from the Empress and her 
and those who are her pawns. We have heard great tell. Yeah, wait, hang on one, one sec. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, wait, because, yeah, this pertains particularly to Yeah. 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 Patrick's yeah. just not persuading anybody. He's just like, yeah, just so standing so, here, I guess. Hey, can we, actually, can we take, like, a quick break? I gotta do some more. So, sure, sorry. sure, we can take a we can take a break. Go. I, I think that's a good place because we're about to hear the major mother speak. <laughs> Ooh, we get to hear yeah. mom. <laughs> mom said, "Shut the fuck up and let me speak." Or I'm... in his in, in this in this poor man's in in this this guy's case, mommy. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a good way to explain. Yeah, that. no, the hey, problem with this place not... is that the empress knew. So like she just she spent years ruining like you know making Armin a figure of fear, so she could use that to her yeah. advantage. When he, she he eventually came into her crosshairs again. She was never going to leave him alone. Like if you have a if you have a kid who has devil powers, the first thing a person who vies for power is going to think is mine. <laughs> mine is fair. My question is is like she's definitely got a lot of dirt on him, of course. Like. Out of the group, who's the next after that with the most dirt she's got? In terms of a public facade or like anything of note, kind of none of you. Fair enough. Yeah, no joke. She doesn't. She doesn't view any of you as a real threat. The only one she might ha. is Renee, but he was he didn't join the group till later. So she yes. has never. So she never bothered to look for information on him because she never thought it was relevant because she just thought she. No offense, Renee. <laughs> She thought you were a crazy gnome who was going to fail at mastering chronomancy magic. <laughs> she also, like, from what she learned about your motivation, she thought you were just an idiot because she's like, oh, you're wasting this power to bring, to save a loved one? <laughs> Dumbass. <Yep. laughs> Dumbass. And then there's <sighs> the rest of us. Yeah, no, like, she, um, you know, like, if there's, in Orrington, if you sacrifice power or get power for the sake of another, you're a they view you as fucking pathetic. The fact that you succeed is the only reason why you have any respect. <laughs> uh, you were you succeeded? Yeah, I guess we can continue to think of you as something above being hot garbage. You're just straight yeah. garbage. Yeah, the fact you're a commodity because you master chronomancy magic, so curved mindset is, if I can get that... <laughs> hey, mine, 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 mine. <laughs> something I doubt Renee is going to... Uh... Give me is going mm. to uh, give. Nah. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck the woman. Why don't you give it to female Emperor Palpatine? What's the worst that she could do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just imagine Palpatine would time travel. What's the worst he would have done, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, kill baby Thanos. Woman in the face. I mean, you can try. She just has an entire nation between you and her. And, yep. you know, a her who's ruled this godforsaken place for so many goddamn years that, like, she, you know, which has not been a thing in this place for a bit. Uh. So, you know, I wouldn't underestimate her. But, yeah, no, she's a cool bitch. She just, she just wanted to, yeah, she wants things in control. That's all she ever wanted. And she took steps to ensure that it would be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bitch, cray cray. Yeah, no, bitch is a control is a control freak. That that's the whole point. She what she doesn't want, she will seize. She's like, ah, this is mine now. Yeah. All right, I'm back. Give Sorry. Me. Welcome cool. back. Okay, so yep. we have heard. I heard her say we have heard many. Uh, we've heard many. Many stories. We've heard many stories of your deeds for the Empress. They say you wandered the deserts of Utha, creating fear in the Goliaths as an emissary for the war she wishes to wage in the deserts. We've heard tales that you have abetted a Cambion to become an archdevil to destroy another nation she seeks to, con to conquer. We have heard through your actions you have weakened the military leader of Zargin. In her reports, we have stolen. She has called you quite the the asset. You'll forgive us if we do not take your word of intent at face value. I would be surprised if you did. So, 
Why should we not kill you here and now and protect our secrets? What reason do we have to listen to you? Be not mistaken, our god does teach us the value of redemption. But if half the things we have heard of you in particular are true, there are souls that are beyond redemption. He closed his eyes and he says, The actions that you have heard. He pauses for a moment. He says, While they are not of the reasons that the Empress claims, they are true. She raises an eyebrow at that. No persuasion. She looks at you. Very well. I believe you. My matron, you cannot possibly. Hush, Balak. Any man who is willing to faith, to be honest and anoint him is a man that, that is worth listening to, at the very least, worth considering trusting. Is that not our goal? To create a nation of trust? My matron, he, res he, he lowers the crossbow. The weapons all lower. Roderick, you feel the guns lower? Hmm? Looks like eh, looks like she is willing to hear you out, mate. I would ask it out down there, you know. So tell me. To what purpose do you come here? We seek aid. Aid. And bringing Orrington into something better than what the the Empress currently has. I know that we cannot return to the capital. Out of the current moment. To what purpose? And right. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Finish your thing. We wish for the end of the of Empress Orrington. To what purpose? As individuals, only one of you, she looks towards Roderick, who is probably making his way down. I can yeah. understand for defend his people. If the Empress has used you, then I would understand your desire for revenge. But the other three are strangers to this land. To what purpose do you wish to end the Empress? I need a moment to think about how we can word this. Yeah, I actually do have a reason why, but again, I don't think saying it would be the best idea. It's up to you. What, what is, you guys can talk about uh, about our game. I'm, I'm letting you guys. What is your right here, Gillian? What is your uh, what is your thought? What What are you thinking? We. We need the continent of Orlington to help us take down the cult of Athudan. But for all, we we don't know what their thoughts on it are. We would have to ask them at the very least. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Saying it outright would not be the wisest choice. But, but I do, as Lipia, uh, want to um, uh, want to ask their opinion on the cult before she gives her reason why. Cody. Yeah, Matt, I'm, you I'm, have think, your... I'm, I'm thinking. 
I I am also because because we do have to choose even with these guys we have to choose our words a bit carefully. Mm. Oh yeah. Um. Let's think about this. Um. Guys, we all have multiple, like, we all have different reasons, really. I mean, you, going... that's why, yeah, that's why she said you guys are individuals, mm -hmm. you have your different motivations. So, what purpose do yeah. you guys have for getting rid of the Emp Empress? Oh, she's asking basically as, as, us as individuals or us as a group? Both, fun as, enough. As... Yeah, because if, as a, as, I think as a group, it is the someone as I don't think of the words properly. That's why we can talk about this out game. Uh, I think out of like the manipulation that the queen has done and Armin or the Empress has done, Armin can attest to because of what happened with uh Christine yep. at the house. Someone who is willing to use not only to use any means necessary to get what they want as a per as a personal thing should not be leading an entire country of people. She she literally has been willing is it willingly used her daughter to try and gain more power. Someone as selfish as that should honestly be it should not really be in in a position of power. You yeah, you could say that. <laughs> what do you guys think? It's definitely that's definitely a good reason because even in even in a place like Orrington, personal personal gripes are somewhat understandable i mean at the same time yeah. you know it's 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 more on like a value of like getting power in orrington but everyone's got their own personal like reasons and that pe pe people even here can understand i will also say just as a reminder out of game your main goal was to get help fighting the cold after it wasn't enough to get orange i know yeah yeah so like yeah yeah, yes, as it is, it's yeah. Something that, we, that we should make note of like the cult will destroy everything. They, I mean, they literally already had a spite within Orrington. That yeah. would be dead. That that was still something that was under the like under the queen's nose, and was going on the entire time. Someone who allows that to happen would have would. We could also tell of the plan that we know that she plans on doing, which is you know. Letting the cult run wild. Like, hey, this lady, she's planning on letting a cult that wants to destroy the world. Exactly. Run amok. All right. It's an idea. How do you guys wish the phrase in game? I do you have Before... a quick question, actually? Hmm? Go ahead. Did we ever find out if the queen knew about um the spy? The spy? Yeah. You did not know. And with uh, I will say you can incite her. I will tell you just 
it is very possible that she let that happen to lull the court cult into a false sense of security, but it's also possible she didn't and she was vulnerable. Bull don't have good tidings. I'll put it like that. You yeah. don't yeah. know if she know you don't know if she knew. Yeah. So there's a gamble of she is more prepared for this than you thought, or she was completely blindsided. They, however, the Shadow Cloaks did say she stole, they did steal documents, so it's possible they might have information. You don't know. So it's all a matter of what you ask and what you try to gain out of this, because what do, I'm not even going to share good. What happens here today might determine how, if you guys even want them as allies. Okay. At least in against the cult. Before I answer your question, I have a question of my own. She nods. What at you. are your feel? What are your feelings towards the cult of Athudan? Time to roll to see if they know. I'm sorry, I rolled a natural one. Oh. So I'll roll, so they won't have any information, but I will roll religion. Okay, so you should roll better on religion. You speak of the five-headed chromatic goddess. Yes, I do. As far as I'm aware, her cult was destroyed many millennia ago by the by the wielders of the mortal rites. The chromatic bane, I believe they were called. Yes. Yeah. Chromatic Bane. So what relevance does this have to the pertinent to the conversation at hand? The Empress is many things, but she is no servant to a god. The notion would of being lesser to anything would disgust her, quite frankly. Holt had a spy in the city the the nation in the nation itself she raises an eyebrow you suggest that there was that a spy would be in a higher position what's more from a cult that should be by all accounts destroyed should but wasn't Persuasion. Ah. She's willing to hear you out. She does not necessarily believe you, but she's willing to hear you out to see what you have for her. That's fine. As the rest of my party can attest to this, the it was the mayor. Am I getting this correct? Governor. Uh, the right, a governor of Ullington was the governor of this city, actually, Ermog. Yeah, the the governor of the city. Was the spy of Athu. He has been a rather competent thorn in our side. Perhaps if we capture him and get him for interrogation, he could validate what you claim. Though if he is a member of the cult of Athu, then I doubt he would be. I doubt he will give such information willingly. I'm afraid he can't give any testimony. <laughs> Dead. Oh, that we motherfucker. may have killed him. We, we didn't kill him. Well, well Kiberde said that. She raised an eyebrow. You killed the yeah. governor of Zorkas. I suppose I should not be surprised. Any traveling companions of the Lord of Cinder would undeniably have to shrink to them. If the governor is dead, like you say, then perhaps it is time to make our move. Armagh is a fortified city. If we were to 
be able to drive out the Inquisition, we could fortify defenses in order to create a real stronghold in the nation. And perhaps our voices would no longer be silenced by the machines of propaganda that all leaders anointed employ to keep their citizens fearful and loyal. And if what you say is true, mm -hmm. then it seems the cult is no longer a threat. If their man is destroyed, then it still holds no pertinent information to this. So, you'd simply allow everything to possibly be destroyed? From what it seems, I doubt you have not given me much reason to fear this cult. If they only had one man inside Ointon, then it is fine. If they have hidden in the shadows, then it is unlikely they have any substantial strength to them. They have not just hit him in the shadows. She now looks at you. They have had presences in both Zagan and Utha as well. They ins they incited a civil war inside of inside of Utha. They had quite the assistance. But it failed. <laughs> you speak of it past tense. You do not speak of it w with the sounds of defeat. We had intervened. Then I see no reason why you cannot do the same in Paragua. If they were from the shadows as you claim, as I said, they surely should not have such a foothold. Okay, I'm going to DM you a question, Alex. You've not said the severity of the cult's power. I am. I know. I'm not done. Yeah. Give me one sec. I'm waiting for the DM. No, no, you we don't. don't. We don't know in game. Okay. No. Uh, no. Don't uh, worry about it. it, worry about it. it no, honestly, I'm, that that I'm fact is not even. I'll be honest. I know. Well, anything. it could. Well, that, well, I mean, it could. But either way, it really wouldn't. Their leader. He looks at Libya. Their leader is a five-headed dragon themselves. I don't think you guys know that either. I think that uh, what wasn't that said before? No, you I mean you mean Theva being the aspect of Tiamat? There's only one person who knows. About and Roger that. never told you guys. Oh, he never. Well, can, yeah. I yeah, it, can I retract? Can I retract that? Yeah, you so, may. We know. Roger we do know that they said. have. We do know that they have. Um, you know, Theva's strong. That's it. You just know she is strong. Yeah. That's it. But to be fair, this is a nation of strength. <laughs> Do we know about some of the some of what they have? I will give you this with key mind. It's been heavily implied that they actually took over the nation of Paragua by evidence of some of the royal decrees and what you tried to convince Charles. You don't have any physical proof of it, but you do know that Paragua, all you had was a letter from a member of the cult who admittedly has every motivation alive, but from what you've gathered, it is very possible that per the cult is really the ones behind Paragua, which means not only do they have the cult, not only do they have dragons, but they have the armies of Paragua at their beck and call. Yeah, boy. Okay, then I I I thought that Roderick said I apologize. No, I I had not said it. Nope, yet. Roderick kept no. that one secret. From the information that we have gathered, the cult actually has complete control of the nation of Paragua. Persuasion. Eleven. Fuck. Thankfully, I rolled low. You speak with conviction. Whether you're being lied to or it is true, you certainly believe the words you say. But that ultimately brings us back to this. In what hopes do you have that this will? In how does this correlate to taking down the Empress? If this is a threat, surely she would know of it. And if she knows of it, she will not sit idly by if it threatens her. What she intends to do is simply defend. 
and let let the other nations tear themselves apart. And her intent mm -hmm. is to pick up the ashes herself. No persuasion. Th these people will never know. hurt them. If what you say is true, then certainly it does make sense that she would allow this. Whether she could defeat the cult or not, if she were to weaken the other nations of the world, she would undeniably create a new continental empire. There is a logic to what you say. I can promise you that if you aid us in getting the throne, we shall not interfere with these affairs. I have no desire to see the cult succeed. I will not obey their dark mistress by uh, helping them, as it were. If that is your motivation, I can certainly understand that need for self-preservation. The Empress would burn the world to cinders to be the Queen of Ashes, to be the Empress of Ashes. If that is all, then we can discuss arrangement for what Devon had spoke of, that being your wish to help. When, if you will prevail against the cult, we can certainly promise that we have no intentions of invasion either. We seek not to expand our territory, merely to bring resolution and peace to the lands in which the Empire already encompasses. If you wish to insight, you may, but I will say it's pretty apparent where her stance is. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. She she's pretty, she's, she's an open book. Yeah. You don't know if it is doesn't or feels like can't, but the, but you know, the end result is the same ultimately. Yeah. 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 It's clear that the matron yep. here is speaking in a way where it's like she will not interfere. <laughs> Yeah. Will not interfere, but not invade either. You haven't tried to persuade her too, but you know. I know. Yeah. Yeah, but I need a persuasive. I'm not persuasive. Neither am I. But I am. Yeah. Hey, hey. Well. She said, that, so she said that she doesn't want to interfere, basically. She said she won't, like, if you help her get on the phone, she promises she won't, like, if you guys defeat the cult, she won't exactly, uh, she won't, uh, go ahead and be like, okay, I, uh, like, now we're going to expand. She will leave well enough alone. You say you won't interfere, but you never said anything about helping us take down the cult either. Mm, no. Because that... That's... Uh, that is a fight we cannot afford to wage. There would be a power struggle at the time, waging war and maintaining, maintaining your hold on the on the nation. You cannot do both. Indeed, even if you were to remove all the leaders, it is very unlikely all those who have studied under the Empress's and the Empire's philosophy will submit. These are not all our men, but we sh pale in comparison to the armies of Orientem. I would love to help you fight this evil. But that would mean the destruction of everything we seek to build here. That makes sense. And if what so, you say is true, go ahead, go ahead, I'll let you go. So can, so can, can I make a suggestion, if I may? She nods at you. 
information is is key. We we may need all the information we can gather, wh whether or not there are still members of the cult in in Orrington or not. Persuasion. That's a self. That's, one. That's a self. Whoops. <laughs> eh. <Yee> <laughs> 25. That's better. Another 25. Nice. Any documents the Empress has on the cult, we will let you have. We have no need of them. We will copy them down for our scribes should the cult become a problem to us. And you unfortunately so fail. You, all you asked for was information. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that is... Yeah, the, that's the, all I've asked for. Yeah, that is a reasonable request. We can't accommodate this should we be put on the throne. But that I see no problem with. Thank you. If anyone wants to try and persuade them to help, because like I'll say this, we're gonna go through round by round. You'll all have one chance each to try and persuade them to help. Is is Roderick down here, by yes, the way, at this he, point? He is. Yeah, he's been down. Yeah. You have one chance each to persuade this person to help you. Hmm. I can't fucking think of anything to say. Yeah, I was gonna say, Lipia at the very least has gotten you some information, so you might get some relevancy to the cult and their operations, as well as what they might have. So at the very least, you're not if they win, you're not coming out of this empty handed if you choose to support them. But that's the extent of this so far. Mm. 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 Okay, um, out of curiosity, just for eventually, uh, we might be able to help use this. Um, the is most of the army um, of Orrington like the Inquisition, or are they, or is it more or less like foot soldiers and uh, really battle mages? Check. Twenty-one. Uh, oh my god, my rolls suck today. Uh, 13. You were a kid. The only one who uh, else I can say is Roger Romy history because of, you know, brain. The... Brain power. Activate. Maybe. I think that four for you. Please roll better. Wait, maybe? I'm st it's still frozen. There it is. That's, that's so, 20. you know that. Okay, so I'll put it like this. You've heard rumors that the Orientons have roughly, like, and this is not the shout, folks. This is the actual standing army. There's about you, and the only ones you know of are about forty thousand grunts with so and so thousand mages of various skill. Okay. Roughly, talked you heard as Roderick, where they were roughly in the range of a seventy thousand strong army. Utha, by comparison, has about forty thousand Goliaths that would be like able to serve in a organized military. The difference was was that the Goliaths fought harder than any Orange and foot soldiers, but the mages were could make all the difference in the world. Yeah. They have numbers. It's just that there's a decent possibility that if these people get into power, there's a good chance that that the army would be disorganized by that. Yeah. Because they that like, true. yeah, so like, you would need to kill any sort of threat to power that, you know, that the army may not be too afraid to follow or be ideal to follow. Yeah. Um. <sighs> I mean, Roderick would definitely let Armin know about that is I'm, I'm assuming the this this group here 
probably doesn't know. Or they probably know because they're, you they know. They know. It's just you don't know, like, what they know. You could ask again, like. Yeah, that is true. I need to. I, this is the hard part. It's trying yeah. to think of how we can how we can go about trying to get them to help. This is the problem with the truly morally good option in a place that is very not morally good. It means that the better a person you are, the less respect you have. Uh. Hmm. That's a... mm -hmm. We need we need assistance. We need help. We need Orington's help in taking down the cult of Athadan. Yeah. And because they know, because they know that they that they won't in, that they won't interfere if they get that if they claim that throne because they effectively can't interfere. They won't have the necessary means to maintain a hold on Orrington and help us fight the cults. Uh... Cody, Matt, you got anything? <laughs> um, I'm I'm yeah. racking my brain right now, trying to think of what we can do because I they want the throne as well, and I get their and I get their reasoning, but it's the idea of can you like I'll put it in meta terms? Can you get the quote unquote morally good option? And either A, trust, like, you know, trust, like, get them to help, or B, trust in your abilities to stop the cult that you won't have to need their help. That, that, that's the issue is kind of why Roger doesn't have anything to say, because based on the interactions that they have now, unfortunately, Roger only sees one person being, well, the option that m may not be happy at the moment, but it will be a we he he would be the option to you know deal with the cult with us. I know who you're referring to, and yep. So. Mm-hmm. You also don't know what the other rulers of Orington are. I will say that. Like, the other governors and, like, people of power, you have no idea where their stances are and what they would do. So you have, like, you have no idea, like, if, like, who is your, like, morally good option while also guaranteeing help. It's just a matter of, okay, like, in this instance, do you want the Shadow Cloaks to help like, do you want them to help? And if so, can you get them to help? Or can you put them in power and hope to God that you don't need or his help in general against a force, you know, against this great force? Because I will say, with um your history check, Roderick, Parag was so isolationist, you have no idea what their military strength is. Exactly. They could be. Yeah. They've been like so secluded that you, for all you guys know, they might be able to eclipse both like the armies of Utha and Zargon. And if 
and you know, just spitballing here, the cult is not going to sit idly by and not increase their numbers as much as possible. I mean, exactly. they've, they, I will say you mm -hmm. have, it's been like in game, it's been like a bit of time since you've learned that, and you have no idea how long they have really been in charge. So they have, could have been militarizing this whole time. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's, that's the thing. We got no idea. We have to go off the fact that they are preparing to basically blitzkrieg the entire fucking continent. So it means that they, even despite even without their dragons, they have to have some level of military force. That I would doubt would they would just keep as, like, stationary in terms of their growth. Yeah... Okay. I know this is taking a bit. No, no, it's fine. I'm giving you guys a chance because here's the thing. Like, I want, I want you guys to have a chance to get the morally good option. So if you guys fail, I want you to be like, "Well, we tried. We did try." Yeah. Like, this is like a case of like, how much do you trust? The the most we've gotten so far is is a um, yeah. Which is probably the best we've got at the moment. I mean, you could also wait till, like, you find out what's... We need all the help we can get. And... What we are concerned about is because of how isolationist I should I bleh, I can't talk isolationist, isolationist Pragwa is. We have no idea their martial power. All the more any reason. and all. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead because of what you say might make you have to roll something. Any assistance that can be provided is going to be useful because we have concern about when they might when they might strike and the sooner we can act and the more we can act with better persuasion please Armin 22 Be that as it may, to aid you would be to, to end ourselves. The reality is that we do not have what you need. Tell me, have you ever fought in, have you ever plotted and plotted and fought revolution? I have not. I may be the matron mother, but at my heart, I am still Zalith. X A L Y T H. Yeah. I still face the burdens of watching my brothers and sisters die at the hands of the Inquisition. I have watched us be, I have led us in hopes that we could hide and survive to get little victory that we could. I have sent my brothers and sisters to their deaths for a greater good. I fight to end the fighting, so that we may know true, safe peace here in Warrington. To do what you ask would be to send everyone I care for, everyone I fight for, to die. 
I, my heart pleads for your, for your, for your fight. It, it truly, it does. But I cannot help you. Not with what I have. Problem is, he can't, he can't disagree because he, if he was in that same position, he'd be, he'd think the same thing. To put it another way, Lord mm -hmm. I heard your tale. If you do not kill your parents intentionally, no doubt you have regrets in that day. Were I, were your parents alive and survived that fire? If I were to ask you to kill them to give me the throne of Warrington, would you so willingly do that? No. Which is why I understand why, why you stand the way you do. And I cannot refute that. Okay. Perhaps then, for the moment, we can at the very least focus on on removing the Empress from her throne. To that we can agree, and we would welcome your camaraderie if you could provide aid. Our efforts would be spent fortifying the city of Ardmark, now that the governor is dead, to drive out the Inquisition. Were you able to scout the other territories, then perhaps that would be of great aid to us. Any effort you would make on that front would be of a great, of, would be of great, bleh, bleh, would be of, would create, would be of great debt to you from us. Okay. Uh, as of right now, Renee and Roger are the only ones left who can try and persuade them to uh, help. Of the ones present, Anya and Selica would have a turn when they come back in game. But right now, in this session, you two are the only ones left who have a chance. I'm still trying to think of what I would say. Um, fuck. Okay. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Yeah, no, this is just the world to laugh at. Again, like it is possible you guys can put them on the throne in hopes that what you have is enough to defeat the. But the, uh, the problem with that is. You don't know for sure. <laughs> exactly. And the only thing that... The only one that Roderick actually feels that it would be a... That you know At of. this moment... That at, that he knows of at this moment... He doesn't feel like they would be... Strong enough to... Maintain it. And that's the, the big issue beyond the cult you're saying yeah that is also a factor that like i was gonna say but thanks for bringing it up there's also a chance that the shadow folks might fail in their ideals you don't know exactly they yeah. the throne. so the thing is is as much as we would like to have their help roderick doesn't feel like it's going to be enough he doesn't based on the way that she's speaking he feels it's not going to be what they as a group are looking for in assistance. I mean, I'm not going to tell you what you can and can't do. I mean, you have, I mean, like, again, like you have no idea their question. You have no idea their origin. You have no idea what they're from. Like for all, like, I'm going to be honest, like depending on what you do here and what you say, there is a possibility that this could influence the Bellthorn King, for example. Interesting. 
Um, uh, it's up to you. The issue is I, I don't know what to say. You could question again, like you could also just question them, like see, like try to get more information. Um, Renee, anything from you? Uh, it's, I'll put it like this. It's a matter of what do you want to know about these guys before your decision? Do we know exactly what the end goal of the cult is? Destruction of the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll give you guys a little bit of a helping hand. Everyone roll me history checks, armed with advantage, just to give a little insight and stuff. All righty, I'm back, sorry. Oh, roll what? history with advantage for me. Okay, Four. Hey, you would know. Too bad. Just roll it. 22. Okay, so you, most of you would know. Uh, let's see, Roderick. Hey, it's being slow. I clicked it, so I'm just waiting for it to load. Mm-hmm. do doo ba doo And... Now... Now, now there it is <laughs> god damn it 22 bros forever. okay all of you know this drow on mass typically are in the underdark so it is a little weird that they are interfering with surface level affairs Armin in particular real orange is not known for exactly welcoming immigrants <laughs> powerful immigrants but you know most of these drow are not because they're powerful especially with their ideals Okay. Huh. That feels a little odd then. Yeah, mm -hmm. just a bit. Very odd. Not kosher, my guys. Not kosher, Jesus. You can uh, question. You can ask. But that's that was my one hit for you guys. That's my one. Thing. That would be a good question to ask, Armin. What? Why are you asked having the non-persuasive uh one ask these things? Uh, Use some um, common sense there, buckaroo. Let me ask a question. No. If I may. Proceed. By the way, this way the other drow have been going around doing their business. How long have you been in Ovington for? <sighs> Persuasion. Let's see. Let's see how far you can get with this. See, why do you think it's better that I don't do this? Mm -hmm. 23. This one was a lower DC, so they're willing to answer this. <laughs> Let me just get my notes right because this will. Uh... Let's 
slightly over four decades now. Right. But... But why are you meddling in the affair of the overworld? I kind of find it odd how um, you are normally, from what I understand, well, don't interfere with Roll the... one last persuasion oh, check what? for me. Okay. 22? Alright, it was a DC 20 for that one. 150 years ago, the... The MacGuffins came and ended the reign of the Lolf based drow. For a time, our community worshipped the go our sect of drow community worshipped Niana, the goddess of redemption. We say clear of the survivors. Some were fortunate. They, f they thrived in new communities, now worshipping the one who defeated Lolf as their god. Others, however, were taken by the power elves and turned into their slaves. For a time, we lived peacefully until the matron mother of the Kirora drow discovered that her child was taken. In rage, she invaded our community. Many of us died. We had to flee. She, her rage was relentless. Although we did not take the child, it was clear that sh she in part blamed us, thought we were responsible. We were not. I, if she ever did realize it, I believe she would have seen it as weakness to stop and to make peace. We fled for many years. We lived in secret in Orrington until we were discovered by the Empress. We did not take up arms for this revolution because... Because we came here to spread the word of Niana. We did because we saw the people here suffering. We simply just wished to have a home, a place that is safe. And that will never be as long as the Empress is in power. I see. And... And yet, the cult... The cult is running rampant, causing... causing issues left, right, and center from... from... for not just you and the people of Owington the the Bazargan as as well as Uther I will say if Roger got something that you can roll it because I did give you that one chance and I, I am firm to that so Roger would need to finish this alright so what I'm hearing is that I Roger needs to basically bring up you know someone being the aspect of someone I'm not saying yeah. that. I'm saying that if, no. for this to be a chance, because like you've already made your case, Lipia, and you did roll. Yep. It will need to be Roderick. That's fine. <sighs> I might be able to add something to this, Roderick. Okay. I am giving you advantage because Lipia is giving you the help action. That's it. So I forget. What am I trying to do again? Sorry, my brain just fucking turned off. <gasps> You're like they're basically you're probably, basically I think what Lippy is trying to do is convince them that the cult's a threat that they won't know peace if the cult's allowed to do what they are if they don't. Mm -hmm. There will not be peace with the cult still around. Their leader has already become the aspect of Tium. Fuck it, aspect of Atherdan. They already have the as a. Uh, they're great worm. They're the great worm dragons, right? I'm just making sure my brain is remembering that because they have very, very powerful dragons. They have powerful, but you don't know the age. They have powerful dragons of every 
chromatic color. They will watch this world burn, and there will be no peace if we do not stop them now, before Athuden is brought to this plane. Persuasion. Lippy is giving you help, so it's with advantage. Persuasion. Why the fuck are my rolls so slow today? We'll see if this wants to do it anytime soon, because I did click it. All right. Any roll, ladies. Any second now. Any second now. Cue the Jeopardy music. Hoo ha hoo. Yeah. Persuasion, I choose you! Sorry. Go, Web, go! 18. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, unless anybody has a fucking. What's she it called? She looks at you. Zalif, Major Mother Zalif looks at you. Almost like big sadness in her eyes. I understand what you are trying to say. Truly, I do. But I'm not leading my people from one desperate struggle to another. I am sorry. But I cannot help you. All I can promise is not to interfere, is not to try and enrich our territory. I don't want land. I just want, we just want a home. For better and for worse. Roderick will say nothing further and just look away. If I may. If it is all the same to you. No one will have a home if this cult is allowed to persist. Mm. All right. I will count this as like someone else giving you the health action so you can roll straight to give you the best chance possible. Persuasion. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> I am. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I am terribly I... sorry. Well, we tried. If this means you will not be able to help us, we understand. Whoever you, if you do not help us, and if you seek another ally, all we ask is that you leave us alone. If we cannot take the throne, we simply won't wish a home in, in a community to call ours. Nothing more and nothing less. Okay, I have an an idea that I will run by. Um, Gellion, check your DMs. Matt, check your I'm DMs as well. Them. I have them both. Do, 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 do. Yep. By the way, this lord has yeah. into Belthorn, sadly. Yeah! Yeah! Ooh, okay. Yeah. What you do now might change some of that campaign, fair yeah. enough. Wee woo. Bing bong, fuck your life. Matt, did you check your DMs as well? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Hmm. Give me a moment. Un momento, por falala. I have two agreements. I would like a, I I would definitely prefer more of a unanimous on this. All 
righty. May I? You wish to make? Are you may intending on taking the seat of power in Orington as a way to ensure that everyone no longer suffers? Those who I preside over are under my care. If the throne of Orington is under me, so too are all its people. I shall treat them like I treat my kin. Nothing more, nothing less. I understand. May I make a request then? Speak. Would you be willing to help us move the Empress and those those that would side with her, her ideals. But we find a suitable replacement for the. No, no I'm not. Let me rephrase. I'm not going to say suitable because that would imply that she isn't. Um, yeah. Unworthy. But we find. We find a new seat of power that is able to command Owington's armies to assist us. And in doing so, at the same time, we would ensure that your your community, the Shadow Cloaks, will be safe. Persuasion. Natural 20. Oh! Nice. We will have a handful fortifying the city of Arlac. I can reason this if and only if whoever you ch whoever you, w you find to sit upon the throne of Orington will agree to leave us in peace. I'm sorry, you cut out for me. I heard if you can find... So basically, she's asking, hey, if you find a ruler, if you find someone who can sit on the throne, all we ask is to be left alone in peace. All we want is to have mm. a home. If, if it's only the city, so be it. On my word. And not as a lord, or in, but as a man. A man who wishes to. Curious you would use that to a matriarchal society. I am, I know, I apologize, but. I'm not like them, I'm just, the irony is not lost on me, that's all. You will get to live in peace. I can promise you that. We will await whoever you decide to send as an emissary. For now, it would, with kind respect, we will clear out. We suggest you leave. And next time, if you're looking for a base, take care to look for a simple alarm. That's how they knew you were coming. <laughs> I, I had to step alarm. away. I had to step away. I had to step away for his. I just step uh, away for a second. I second didn't even know. Enter, yeah, the second Roger entered, I was like, well, they know now. Right. We yeah. should consider that next time. All right. So unless anyone else has anything they wish to say to them, uh, they begin to clear no. out, you guys begin to leave, and you guys can discuss your options. Yep. All right. Now comes the, now comes the harder part, <laughs> is 
planning our moves on what to do next because they're gonna if they if they manage to secure the city of Aramog at the very least that gives us some at least some slight modicum of of safety for the for the for the moment but there is an entire nation that is more than likely not going to be um or more likely than not going to be against us <laughs> So we have to decide what we do next. Yeah. And I think we had all I think we are still waiting on Ari. On yeah. Ari's yeah. Yes, but, thoughts on it. Well, I mean, here's the thing. Like, just from what I understand of the character, they are going to want to support Hugo on the throne. They the character does feel like that is the best option for the path forward, so much so that it's created in your party drama. Uh, you don't have to agree with it. But that would be where her path would be. I still... If, if she does agree to it, I think... I think we should, as as Alex had suggested, or as Alex had suggested, when us to to go along with is fan out, look for all of the options that are available to us and see what works best. Mm. We do kind of have to. We do kind of have to plan to. Start getting rid of some of the problems in Orrington before we get back mm. to the Empress, anyways. Yeah. So, so at the very least, if we can get some assistance from the Shadow Cloaks in terms of finding a suitable replacement for the like I said, I wasn't going to say suitable in uh, suitable to the matron mother, but a suitable replacement for, that can act against the cult of Athens. And right now, it seems that Hugo is our only other option, and I don't like that. I don't like that being our only option. It's why I gave you a country. <laughs> yep. yep. So. Um... That I begs the question. Where I will where say, do we go? I will give you guys one chance. Everyone but Renee, roll history checks because you three are the only ones who could possibly know this. History. I'll give you advantage because the key might, but this is not brought up in a month. Twenty-four. Well, hold it. It's gonna take a minute. Just, just hold on. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> Roger, get his fucking blade ever. Oh god. <gasps> oh god, I missed my fucking mithril. Oh god, this no, is no, no, he's No, he's wearing the mithril. Why the fuck am I faster with this bullshit? Oh god, I hate running. <laughs> I got my constitution back, but I still hate running. Oh god, I'm going to use this special vast again. Oh. Come roll, please, ladies. Armin, you know. Come the fuck on! I think I'm charging up a key blast. 19. Good Roderick god. Roderick and Armin, you know of one person. You don't know their alignment. And yet, you only know a little bit about them, but in Alverton, the ruling governess is Zari Weary. She was yes. the one who was yeah. trying to help the pool, but conversely, she was a part of Omen's past, so there's a gamble there on... Yeah, on like how much that's a big-ass gamble. I can't say how much you would trust that because... I'm on. There she's a... So that's a matter of who, like, if you want to pursue that option, it's a matter of who you want to send, send regarding that. You should, I will say, you should probably send the less persuasive person to the one that might have the biggest impact. Do not send me 
to one that could have a bigger impact on, Which, on with Zari, what to do. Zari Weary, you have no idea what her impact is. You know she's in charge of a city, but that's it. Also, I will say, Armin, with your history check, Norfolk is somewhere that you guys should probably not go as it's not really a settlement, it's a it's a town prison. Yeah. Um, what's this place, by the way? Which one? Uh, the fortress-looking place near the, uh, near east. Roll me history. Yugi. And this is from childhood, so keep in mind it's not a play. Uh, fair. Eleven. I don't know, man. You were like a kid. You didn't think to ask what that was. You're like, ooh, cool, rock place. You were like, oh, cool. There's some people there who are armed. I don't know. Yeah, you don't know. I'm sorry. But then eleven. Fair. I... I, I kind of figured. Yeah, he, just, he was just too young, and that was too outside your sphere of knowledge. Uh, understandable. Okay. <gasps> so it's a matter of where do you want to send certain people? The good news is Armag is secure. That one is safe. So okay. we have Alberton, Constant, Mirstone, Stanmore, Aramor, and Victory that you have to decide on. So, Yao, and the only one you know of is Governess Zari Weary. So, who would you yeah. want to send to deal with her? You know what? That does beg the... That does actually beg the question. Would any of us know about the other... The other towns and cities in this uh, in Orange. Uh, roll me history checks, all of you, and I'll give you some stuff as it becomes relevant. Uh, Sixteen, <laughs> better than an eleven. Nineteen. Uh, nope. No. All right. Let's see how fast he wants to roll. Oh. Ba -da -da -dum -ba -dum. Here I sit. Waiting on my rolls. Here I sit. Here I sit up again slow. with the lag. These rolls are pissing me off with how fucking slow they are. And now. Nope. Now. Nope. 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 Yeah. How about now? Mm -hmm. Are you for what? Nope. Are you for what? Uh -uh. Maybe? Ten, Any nine, time today? Eight, seven, six, <laughs> Jesus five, fucking four. It ain't the war. Hey, 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 roll 20. Can I have a history check, please? No? No history check? What the fuck? I hate this Cody, fucking one. app. Cody, you know Cody what? what's your, uh... Oh, there yeah, it is. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, so this makes sense in war. Lippy and Roderick, you never fucking cared about Orchid in the first place. Why would you ever really care enough about their settlements? <laughs> See Particularly you. Reason. Yeah, like you. I'm gonna see if fucking yeah, like, resetting my goddamn. For Roderick, it's like, oh hey, these people, these people were threatening you, so who gives a fuck? Lippy, it's like, you know, you care more about home than you do about this. Now, uh, Roderick and Armin, I'll give you the same information. Alberton, Renee, and Armin. Or, who? Yeah, uh, <laughs> Renee and Armin. Too many R's. Yeah. Right. Anyways, Alberton is probably the most military. The military academy. The military academy is there, and it is home to many of the soldiers. Coniston is is a center of trade, so it's by Orientin standards somewhat less like classes when it comes to the power system. That being said, it's still Orientin. Orientin. Yeah. It's still Warrington. Mirstone is another military town, but it is a farmland, so it's so it's like more about food and everything about that. However, the governor is more of a commander. Like they're they're more of a military guy. Stanmore 
is the most basic ass town imaginable. However, rumors say, according to Armin, it is ruled by a vampire. Blah, blah, blah. Hugo wasn't the only one. They, they do have. And Victory is the only village where people, like, basically, it's a, um, it's a craft town. Everything that they need made in terms of the physical, like, armor, weapons, anything to supply, that's what that town, that's what that village does. And Norfolk is just a prison. It is just a prison. It's like uh, however, Australia. However, Rene is the only one who knows this because he passed the DC. Norfolk's guards are not traditional tri- prison guards. You have heard rumors for this at the academy, but you never want to believe them because they were so auspicious. They would force paladins to break their oaths so that way they would die and return as death knights that were sworn to protect the prison. Oh, here. So yeah, they, the guards there are all death knights. So I will say anyone who goes there will have a fucking hard time. Yeah. Uh did you say anything about Aramor? I'm sorry. I I might have I was typing so I might have missed it. Okay, I did. If I remember I believe I did. Oh. Oh no I didn't, my bad. Okay. Alright, give me a sec. Aramor. Okay, so let me just check my notes. Sandstone. And let me get the governor of Norwegian. Okay. So Aramor is actually for. That's not the. Not the best way to explain it. Okay. This is where the lesser mages of the Orientan army are stationed. These are where the... Um, this is where, like, mages tend, like, to reside when it comes to military use. The ones who, sc- who have respect and are scholarly, the ones with power, live in the capital, obviously. This is more where... Mages who have a limited power, who are meant to serve in the standing armies, tend to reside. As a result, they're kind of more... they're the bigger assholes. Like, the, any common folk there tend to be at their mercy. They... however, with that being said, the town does have more of a surplus of magical research because due to mages living there, they do do research on the lesser matters, but still of great import. Hmm. Well, we shouldn't send Armin to the one where the vampire is so that, you know, we don't need him being charmed. No. We don't need Armin. (laughs) Richard, Richard, we do this for your safety. Look, look, here, let me, let me translate. Like, Richard, Richard. Is it for my here? safety or for your safety? <laughs> it's for both. Okay, let, let's be honest. If I was charred by a vampire for, like, a long period of time, you'd both know that that would be, like, a regression of its character. Uh, exactly. I will, Senator, I will neither confirm nor deny the allegations that have been made against me. <laughs> if we're going to send anybody to a place with a vampire, it should be someone who, you know can't be charmed or or has a good charisma save or a good save against being charmed and someone who probably has some holy magic or something to do with radiance uh... so that's like Armin unfortunately is out of the question in that sense no yeah. offense, Aaron, but it's better safe than sorry. Yeah. We likes you, and we want to keep you. So, like, no. So, who would you want to send there? 
Um, that's a good question. Um, I mean, there is a vampire. I will say, look at your classes and stuff, and see who you think the best one is to deal with a vampire. Yeah, that's that's uh. I don't think it's me. Even with the resistance to being charmed, it's still or not resist uh, immunity. Immunity. It's I don't have anything that does like There's I really would... only one person I could think of. It's it's you, Galleon, with Lithia. Un un unless Ari gave Roderick the, the crystal blade to use maybe but, like, that's, like, the only thing I can think about. What say you, Olivia? Hmm? What say you? Would you want to be the one to go face the vampire? Because I think that's what Julia suggested. Yeah, unless no I were, unless Ari would, unless Ari would be willing to give Roderick the, the crystal blade, then... But I'm pretty sure that's her weapon. That's her weapon. Yeah, in that's her uh, only weapon. <laughs> it is her weapon. So yeah, I'll go to the vampire. Alrighty, Lipia. By the way, please put this down in notes for me. It's like write this down. But yeah, Lipia will go. Stanmore. To Stanmore. Stanmore. Okay. And this is session 69. Six, I almost said 69. 61. 61. Yeah. Lipia to. Hey, fucking come on, stupid. Okay, call it down. Lipia, not Lloyd. Stupid fucking Lloyd. Well, it's it's it's, it's, it's and no. she's going to uh, Lloydia. Stan Moore. It's Lipia to Stan Moore. <laughs> no, L L. <laughs> Wildy. Lloydia. I need you. I named you. I named you. You ruined uh, my life. Bro. I kind of ruined your life. I wasn't even part of it. Ari. And then. Rene. So we have Ari. Or we have Lippy, I mean. To the, to the vampire with you. Yep. Be fun. Um. Okay. Um, <sighs> thing is, like, we would want someone who's kind of stealthy to get to if we were to do Norfolk. And it's a prison, uh, so there's no probably point in better, like, going. Well, probably best we don't go to Norfolk right now. Yeah, it's in Virginia. Duh. Is it's it a, actually in Virginia? Norfolk, Virginia. Really? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's also in England. Well, that's yeah, that's, that's Norfolk. That's Norfolk. Anyways. That's Norfolk. Anyways, continue, guys. Hmm. Um. Uh. Because you got something to do with the vampire. Now you got to figure out who you yep. want to send to him. Yeah, we got someone for the vampire. We got it's me. What other cities? Um, also the slaving town. Well, the prison town. Mm, yeah. uh, it's Norfolk, which I, I yeah, I don't think any one of us should really go there. If we're gonna send anybody to the mage one, Renee might be our best option there. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Renee, your thoughts on be going to to Mage Town uh, to to Halloween Town, as we call it. Sorry, that joke. 
uh, uh, error more. That's the military mage one. Yeah. Yep. Where, okay. as far as you are aware, that is all it is. Just a military station town. And they don't know time magic. That is the thing I will confirm. You are like you are a prodigy in that, so you have an advantage. That's that's the, the big reason I'm thinking. I'm yeah. thinking it. I feel like that's probably for the best. Okay, so there you go. If Renee's agreeing, then Ottomore will go to Renee. Okay. That leaves Roderick. So he's he's going to. Paramore? Er, 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 Paramore? 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 No. Oh my god. Well, I never meant to break. So, I guess you got it, but you wanted to know. <laughs> uh, we, so we have the, basically we have the south we go. Oh, we're gonna we have... tear it down brick by boring brick. Stop it. Tear it. Break it down sexual style. That <laughs> Richard, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Something I'm yeah, but anyways. But no, seriously, uh because like okay. you have some territories left. Uh you could like who the question is who do you want to meet with Zari Zari Weary? That is a genuine question. Um Keep it in I'm... mind that one of you is still an official lord of the nation. <laughs> If that is yeah. a factor to you in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. And I I I will say, as much as it's probably as much as it's probably not great that I go there, it is a militaristic um it is a militaristic town or city where a lot of their foot soldiers are stationed. He is a pretty would decent. Probably be the, yeah, he's a pretty decent warrior. Eh, six out of ten. You sassy bitch. You yeah. sassy bitch. I was I was waiting for it. Yeah. I uh, but I do I do I do believe Arvin would probably be the best for that one. For Alberton. Yeah. yeah I agree with that. Okay. Okay, and that leaves Roderick with either victory. Or one of the other towns. Victory, uh, so, Coniston, and Mirstone. Yep. So Armin is going to Alberton. 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 Okay, so remind me about the ones I have left. What do we got left? Victory is the craft tower where they make the supply, the physical supplies. Uh, Constant. Give me a sec, because I have to get my notes back up. I have so many goddamn notes. Unnotable. All right, which one next? Constant. Yeah. It's the most like non-race. It's the most non-classist, and it has some workers. It's a trade town, but it's the most simple, basically. Uh. And Stanmore. Uh, no, we did Stanmore. Stanmore is the one with the vampire. Yep. Mirstone, and then you, Mirstone, uh, Mirstone and Coniston. Oh wait, no, it's Coniston. Uh, Mirstone yeah. is the next one. Mirstone. Home for military, but the um, but the governor is more of a commander, so it might be more military officers than it than it might be grunts. Yeah, I don't think Roger would be good in that situation. Uh. Um. What do you guys think? Hmm. Because it's between Victory and Coniston. In well, my opinion, that's what was more important to you the officers or the um, or the supply chain? Well, here's the thing. Talking out a game to the group. Do we want 
to more have supply situated? Or would we want to, when it comes down to it, to face off against the cults, would we want to have the military on our side? Uh, it's probably better we have the military on our side. Mm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Also, I will say, just as reference, um, if this informs your decision, Celica is already has arranged a way to store the supplies in, so whoever you support is going to be well supplied. Okay, yeah. so what it sounds like is Roderick should deal with the military, which this will be a fun time. But, uh, and in, are we in agreement for Roderick going to talk to the military, co the commanders and whatnot? I think we're good. Yeah. Okay, then. Yeah. Roderick will be going to Mirstone. All right, please post that nice. note, Sam. As you guys settle on that, that is where we're going to end tonight's session. Solo sessions next nice. time, baby. Yay! Yay. Okay. Yeah. I have it in Roger's notes. <laughs>